Hey, Heather from Hooked on Pickin' here. I've got myself a salvage palette, so let's see what kind of condition we actually have. All right, so I'm gonna give you the specifications on this salvage palette. Um, this is a bulk.com palette. It's salvage is the condition. It retails for $2,355, and I'm assuming that's the retail price if it was in really good shape. Um, it is bath, bedding, beauty, general merchandise. My cost, this is one of the ones that I picked up on my bulk.com warehouse tour. They're not actually doing customer pickups yet, but hopefully they can do that in the near future. So my cost was 121 was the cost of the palette. I calculated in $76 for shipping because I rented a truck and paid for gas and all of those things. So my total was $197. $7.30 per item is what each thing comes out to. It has 27 items in the case. If you were to buy this online, your cost would be $121, just like I paid, plus $200 to have it shipped right directly to your front door, which equals $321, which makes your price per item uh, $11.88. So let's see what kind of condition we have. Um, and then I'll kind of talk about each item and what I think uh, you should do with it and where I think I'm going to post it and all of that. And then I'll do a second video where I go through each item, tell you whether or not I'm even going to post it, whether or not it's going to be something donated or trash, um, or if it's going to be something that I'm going to attempt to sell on a different avenue. So check out my second video for sure for all of those details and hopefully we can figure out what's all in here. All right. So it's full to the brim, as you can see. I can't keep this up. There we go. There we go. All right. So we've got a warming neck support pillow. Now, in a salvage palette, this box is glorious looking. So my concern about this is, does it even work? So it's clearly been opened, so it's going to be tested. I'll put batteries in it, hit the button, make sure it does actually warm. Make sure it doesn't like randomly start your face on fire. So there's that one. All right, this big box, let's get this out. Uh, let me see, it says UPS store. So what we're going to do is save this to the very end. This will be our mystery box that we'll find out about later. And then we'll keep on plugging away through these. So we've got some Elcove pillows. Elcove is a Target brand. Um, so let me set these down so you can see these real nice. Um, and I've got a second one that doesn't look like it's in a poly bag at all, but it does, you know, then I have a pair. So that's something that if I chose to sell that on my hookedonpicking.com website, I could. It looks like this is an electric micro plush electric blanket. Um, so I'll have to get that out, test it. Everything in a salvage palette must be tested. Don't ever think that it works. And primarily a lot of this stuff is not going to go to, to Amazon. Here's a Pyrex set. And so I'll open it up, make sure all the pieces are there, but this is definitely something I could for sure sell on eBay or my hooked on pick and Shopify store, which is probably where it's going to be at. If all the contents are included, it has a picture on the top, shows me what all should be in there. And so hopefully that will be super useful. Um, want some fake flowers? in a glass container. I'm shocked that this glass container actually made it totally intact. It's a really cute, nice looking vase. It actually comes with these flowers because the flowers are actually glued into the bottom of this container. So you have to have those beautiful looking flowers with it. All right, what is this? This, so this is something that actually might actually go on Amazon. This is a, a Bali bra. It's still got the tags with it and they're still attached. So what I'm probably going to do is take it out of this poly bag. It's a black one, uh, size 38 G. Um, I'll, I'll take it out of the container and make sure that there's no rips or tears or anything, but the tags are still attached and it looks like it's in brand new condition. So that actually from a Savage palette might actually go on Amazon. Cause I listed a bunch from a case that I just did. Uh, if you haven't watched that, check that out. Um, here is a cordless, I'm gonna move this guy back. Here is a cordless throw cape. The box looks in great condition. 
uh, definitely uh, opened. So I'll have to look at that. That might be something that if it does work, I'll sell like new actually on the Amazon platform or uh, used, um, you know, in good condition. Uh, let's see this one. Preveri Health Wellness Life. Let's open this up and see what's in here. Because I'm not sure exactly what that's supposed to be. It's clearly been open before. So by me opening it, not a big deal. So I want you guys to start guessing what you think is in this big um, uh, mystery box. And tell me what you think is in there. I'd love your guesses. All right, what in the world is this? Something with cords. Weighs kind of heavy. Oh, it looks like a massager. It's a neck massager, maybe? That's what it looks like to me. Should we plug it in right on the spot and see if it works? Could be lower back. Yeah, let's see if it actually works. We got a plug here. We'll just do some testing right now and see if it works. Where's the on button? You have to be too, there it is. Well, it lights up. It does work. So it's got heat. Oh, okay. So the red means the heat's on. You can start and go different directions. So it looks like it works fine. Turn the heat off. Turn the heat on. Is it actually getting warm? It is. Probably causes cancer, but... Yeah. yeah, you'll probably die of radiation poisoning. But, hey, at least we know it works. So, hey, I tested it right on this video so you can see that it works. So if you want that, let me know. Um, let's see, what's this thing? This is a window... Win easy mount window bed. It's a suction cup bed for your cat. If you come real close to this, you can kind of see from the picture. You suction cup it to your window and let your lazy cat sit in it. That's, I can't believe people make stuff like that. But I'm not a pet person. So I bet if you love your cat, you'll love to buy that. All right. Here's a sunbeam iron. So it's clearly been opened. We'll have to see what kind of condition it's in and whether or not it's actually sellable. So let's see. We've got... Um, this is another heated micro plush blanket. Is it the same size? Let's see. That one is, they look the same. Only this is in a narrower case. So, okay. This one is a twin and this one's obviously a larger size. I'll have to look at it, um, and see it's probably a, a queen or a full. So, cause they're clearly different size plastic containers. All right. Then we've got a Ion Telesounds, um, basically headset. Uh, it's got a uh, remote and all that fun stuff. So you can basically put it on. It, like if you watch the TV too loud, you can connect it to your TV and you can listen while the rest of your family doesn't have to hear the loudness of your TV. So we'll test that for sure. Hey, we got another one of these. So we'll test that one too. Here's another twin size micro plush blanket. Clearly been opened, so we'll test that. Stick it over here. So the, I like the multiples just because uh, it's good, but with salvage, it's always a little bit extra work. I know anytime I buy a salvage palette, we're gonna look and see what's in that, that I have extra work to do. And so generally when I buy a salvage palette, I try not to get one with like 9 million different um, things in it simply because I don't want to be testing for days. So, but the, the bonus is, is like I said, I only spent $121 on this. Um, and then, you know, if you buy shipping, what is in here? What is this? It's a, it looks like a broken, well, no, this is just a USP, USB plug-in so it's a samsung blu-ray player so cool i don't have a blu-ray player so we'll have to test that out it does not come with any power cords though that's the bummer so this might just be a loss um unless i can find a power cord to actually go in there and plug in so i'll kind of look around and see if i have something personally myself that has a power cord that's similar to that so that i can test it myself 
All right, here is a citrus press. Um, clearly been opened, but we'll have to check and see if all the contents are good. The boxes in these salvage pellets, I've been really impressed with. Usually salvage pellets, it's like somebody went all over them and they decided to take a sledgehammer to some of the boxes, but these have been in much better condition. So, and, um, I don't know how to say this name. I'm going to butcher it. Tremotina or whatever. This is a pretty high end kind of, I think, um, appliances, at least anyway, they usually cost more. I think they just do more fancier kind of appliances. So, all right. This is normally what I'm used to seeing as far as box condition, where the box is just not really even functional. Um, this is the laundry pod. Uh, the laundry pod, let's see. I'm not sure what the laundry pod does, but you wash your clothes. Yeah, it's a basically a portable clothes washer. Probably for those of you who like to go camping. Um, smells like detergent, so I bet it's been used. Well, I don't know. It looks pretty clean. So yeah, you put it in here, and then you can it agitates it and the whole bit. So it's like for those of you who like to do the camping thing, that's kind of neat. We'll have to see if all the pieces are there. All right. Oh, here's a big therapeutic oxy energized foot reflexology. So it's a foot bath. So you stick your feet in there and I guess it massages your feet and touch screen water jet foot and leg spa bath massager. Let's see if they've got kind of neat probably like what they use at salons but I guess one for your house so we'll have to see if that is functional all right here's another mystery box let's see what the mystery is let me see that one doesn't look like it's been opened on this side there we go so these are clearly uh, items that have been shipped to customers and for whatever reason they didn't want them so they shipped them back which is probably why they end up in a salvage pallet because they may not have given any indication in the what condition the item is or they may have said the item is broken but it might not be broken. I mean there's plenty of customers that say the item is broken just because they want the free shipping to send it back and it's not actually broken. So this is a jacket, a Rockaware jacket. Um, basically little rhinestones all the way up and down. Um, okay, I can see right now we've got just a few threads here. I don't know if you can see that on the video. Um, those can be easily clipped. It doesn't look like they'll start causing a hole. There's something stabbing me right here. Okay, I lost it. So something was just poking me. Oh, that. It's a needle. Awesome. All right. Um, it's still got the tags on it. Um, I will test the zipper and make sure the zipper works, but I really don't see anything like glaringly obviously wrong with it. Um, just other than a few loose threads that can just be snipped for, um, you know, selling purposes. But here's the tag. So that's actually in pretty good condition. Um, the back is real nice as well. There's nothing wrong there. So I don't see any tears or rips or anything. So we'll kind of figure out what's going on there. And I'm going to take this safety pin and put it here so I don't stab myself again. All right. Uh, another box. Now, here's a salvage box. This is usually what the boxes look like when you get a salvage box. Let me put that over there with the coat. So... I try to keep the boxes with the items just because then you can look them up on the manifest to get the actual name. It says, uh, Tremont Sherpa Quilted Heated. So my guess is it's probably a heated blanket, so I'm not going to cut too deeply on this. I don't want to cut into whatever is on here. All right. Alright, so it's in its own little plastic case. Obviously it's been taken out and used. 
well, at least, at the very least, taken out. All right, I'm just gonna do this. So it looks like it's just white. Um, when I'm looking at it right now, if you come close with the camera, you can tell it looks like um, pet hair, I would guess, is on this. And so that would be something that, I mean, if I test it and it works, but I'll, I'll devouge that, you know, I would put it on my listing. If I put it on my hooked on picking store, I would definitely say works good. It's a king size. You know, that's actually a pretty huge heated blanket, but I would put, you know, owned by pets. Cause for a person like me who doesn't have pets, I have allergies to pets. So if I bought this, it would be terrible, you know? Um, and so it would virtually be useless to me. So, okay, I'm gonna have to cut this. I was hoping to be able to reach everything without cutting the box, but I'm a little bit too short and there's some things down at the bottom. So there's about five things left in here. So we'll see what's left, some big things. So we're gonna climb on in here. I'll show you some of the smaller things first. So here is a Bosley volumizing conditioner. And this is actually really expensive stuff. Um, it's been taped back closed, so I'll probably unscrew, untape it and unscrew the cap and see if it's totally full. Um, but this is really expensive stuff. Um, usually you have to buy it directly from a salon or I think it is available online. So um, this is a cute little box, Dot Mark Jacobs. So let's see what's in here. See if I can get it open without my box cutter. Yep. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh, it's a little perfume, but it's got little, it's like a little ladybug thing. It looks brand new. It's not been used. It's totally full. So, Dot by Marc Jacobs. So, it's perfume. That's something for sure does not go to Amazon because it's perfume, so they don't allow chemicals like that in the Amazon warehouse. But it's something that I for sure will sell on my uh, website probably. Okay, so we've got uh, a Playtex bra. Uh, looks like it's brand new, still in there. So I'll pull it out, make sure it's good, um, that it's in really good condition. But hopefully that is something that I can sell easily. And then uh, let's just, Let's see what these are. Fragile handle with care. I'm gonna pull both of these boxes out and then I'll climb out and we'll unbox them. And then of course we'll look and see what our mystery box is over there before we end our video. So we got two boxes here. Just gonna stack them there. Then let's climb out and see what they are. Okay, I see foam here. So something with foam. It says gel memory foam topper. So this looks like it's a memory foam topper for a bed. So we're just gonna cut into it. I will not take the whole thing out of the box because I imagine if it's a foam topper, it was probably too hard to get in the box. But I'm gonna pull this up so I don't actually cut it. Okay, so this is clearly looks like it's been used. Um, it's not in the best condition. Uh, so it's probably not something I would resell. This would probably be a trash item, to be honest. Um, my second video, I'm going to kind of walk through and look at the condition of a lot of it, tell you whether or not it's good, sellable, or it's just going to go to the trash pile or the donate pile. Okay, so, um, let's see what's in this one. This one says, therapeutic touch screen. Ooh, I wonder if it's one of those. It may be the exact same thing as that foot bath because it's the same brand name. Yes, it's a touch screen water jet foot massager. Uh, looks like it's the other color. There's a pink one and a brown one. So yeah, so that's what that is. So let's find out what our mystery box is. Uh, hopefully you guys have been guessing and putting things down in the bottom um, and seeing if you get it right. So let's see, this is kind of in a weird shape box it's kind of bumping up at the middle of the bottom and bumping up in the middle on the top so let's see what we got going on here oh it's a bedding set kind of a neat print wow that's a nice bedding set an alcove uh, says that it's a queen size 20 piece comforter set with a couple of throw pillows. 
So that's a nice bedding set. Awesome. That's not what I expected to find in there. But um, so this salvage palette is probably the nicest salvage palette I have ever received because the stuff just looks like it's maybe just been returned, like taken out of the box and returned. Um, and a lot of times you'll get that in shelf pulls or even uninspected returns. So I've been really pleased with that. I'm definitely going to test each and every item. A lot of it's probably not going to go to Amazon unless I put it in specifically used condition. And even then it's got to be worth a lot. So um, you'll find most of this probably on my hookedonpickin.com store. So check that out if you're interested in any of these items. And if I put it on the, on there, just read the description. If it's been tested, not tested, most likely I'll test everything. And if it's, you know, got pet hair or any kind of damage, I'll make sure that all of that is listed. So hopefully it's been helpful to see what you can get in a bulk.com palette of salvage items. And remember in the end, Jesus wins. You guys are true blessing in my life. Thank you so much for helping me put this content out there to everyone. If you'd like to join these great people, please consider supporting me through my Patreon page. Check the link below. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. If you'd like to watch more of my videos, just click on them here. And if you'd like to learn more about the reseller world, subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. Thanks.